This will likely land you your first fish on a dry fly this season. To tie it, we'll start off with some small black thread and securing it to our hook shank all the way to the bend of the hook. Once we reach the bend of the hook, we'll reverse our thread's direction back up towards the head of the fly, keeping your thread buildup as smooth and uniform as possible. Once we reach the head of the fly, we'll reverse our thread slightly and grab some grizzly saddle hackle. Select a single feather measured to the size of your hook, strip a few fibers free, and use this to secure it to your hook shank. Bring your thread back up to the hook eye and begin to hackle your feather forward until you reach your thread, typically about two to three turns. Secure with your thread and snip the excess free. With this complete, we'll brush all our fibers upward using our thread to help hold it in place, beginning by wrapping back on it slightly and then looping around it as you would a parachute. Continue doing so until all the fibers stand upward. Next, we'll take our thread and carefully run it through the fibers to help spread them back out as well as increase the fly's durability. Finishing with your thread just in front of our tuft. Next, we'll grab a high-vis parapost, you're using fluorescent green, and secure this just behind our hook eye. And fold the material backwards, using your thread to hold it in place. Once complete, we'll whip finish to hold everything together, snip our thread free, and cut your parapost to length. And this is the high-vis Noceum Midge. It offers an incredibly thin profile it's one of my go-to patterns when I see any midges or small flies emerging. Thank you for watching, subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next one.